the ocean's depths, we find the incredible world of octopuses, full of varied and fascinating species. Each one is unique, adapting in its own way to life underwater. In the West Pacific, particularly near the beautiful waters of Indonesia, the mosaic octopus makes its home. It has a unique body with small spikes, blending perfectly with the coral reefs. This unique appearance isn't just for show, it serves as an important strategy for navigating the bustling underwater environment safely. In the same ocean, but much smaller, the algae octopus excels at the art of hiding. With arms just 10 inches long, it looks like algae-covered shells, making it almost invisible on the seafloor. This little octopus is a master of disguise, a skill that's taken ages to perfect. Over in the Indo-West Pacific, the sandbird octopus lives in sandy and muddy areas. In Australia's dark waters, the Capricorn octopus comes out of night. It's small, with a mantle around 3.1 inches, and thrives in the darkness, reminding us of the ocean's many mysteries. Then there's the greater blue-ringed octopus, with its bright blue rings on a yellow to orange body. It's one of the most poisonous sea creatures, living in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Beautiful, but dangerous. Deep down, we find the adorable Dumbo octopus, named for its fin-like ears. This cute creature, which can't change color or squirt ink, has adapted to the darkest parts of the ocean, showing how versatile octopuses can be. The coconut octopus in the Western Pacific is equally amazing. It walks on two legs and uses coconut shells for shelter, showing a surprising level of intelligence. Near Indonesia, the mimic octopus is perhaps the most incredible. It possesses the unique ability to mimic various sea creatures, including eels, starfish, and stingrays. This adaptation not only ensures its safety, but also shows the complex nature of survival in the ocean. The giant Pacific octopus reigns as the largest of its kind, stretching over 30 feet wide and weighing more than 600 pounds. It's a true wonder of the sea, showing just how big sea creatures can get. Meanwhile, the seven-arm octopus is unusual. Males possess a concealed tentacle used for egg fertilization, contributing to the diverse array of features found among octopuses. In the Atlantic, the Lilliput long-arm octopus boasts exceptionally long arms, while the blanket octopus features expansive webs between its arms. Females of these species can grow up to 72 inches. Thriving in warm oceans, each of these octopuses contributes something unique to the fascinating narrative of the sea. Then there's the Caribbean Reef octopus, living in the shallower waters near coral reefs and rocks in the Caribbean Sea. It's easy to spot with its long, thin arms and lots of webbing. These octopuses add their own special touch to the underwater world, each one a unique part of the ocean's rich variety. When we talk about cephalopods, like octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish, it's clear they're all different in their own ways. Octopuses are distinguished by their eight arms and typically larger size compared to squids and cuttlefish, and stand out for their remarkable flexibility due to the absence of a shell. These solitary creatures can change their skin color for camouflage and employ venom as a tool for capturing their prey. Squids are slightly smaller than octopuses and possess eight arms along with two additional tentacles. They tend to hang out in groups for safety from predators like sharks. Squids also have an internal shell called a pen, providing both protection and facilitating swift movement in the water. Cuttlefish present a distinct profile with their rounded bodies and prominent heads. Similar to squids, they feature eight arms and two tentacles, but their speed is slightly affected by the presence of an internal shell called the cuttle bone. Despite this, they excel at changing color for camouflage and ambushing prey. Known for their intelligence, cuttlefish can move quickly using jet propulsion. The giant Pacific octopus is one of the ocean's big guys, yet it possesses the unique ability to squeeze into small spaces for safety. It's quite surprising given how large they are. This lets them hide in tiny spots away from any dangers. One cool thing about these octopuses is the squirting of black ink, which adds an intriguing dimension to their defensive tactics. When sharks or other predators come close, the octopus releases this ink, creating a sort of smoke screen. This confuses the predators, giving the octopus a chance to slip away. A smart move for staying safe. 
These octopuses are also great at hiding in plain sight by altering the color and texture of their skin to seamlessly blend with rocks, plants, or the sandy bottom. This camouflage is so effective that it can nearly vanish, providing a significant advantage in evading predators. Their arms are special too. Each one is lined with suckers that can taste things even better than our own taste buds. This helps them find food and sense the danger around them. A rapid color change is facilitated by special skin components called chromatophores, containing tiny bags filled with colors. When an octopus wants to change its look, it controls these bags with its muscles, making them bigger or smaller. This change happens super fast in just about 200 milliseconds. So if you think chameleons are the first animals known for changing colors, think again. The color change in chameleons is more about expressing their feelings than hiding. They possess special cells under their skin that alter how light bounces off, thereby changing their color. This process is relatively slow, taking around 20 seconds, which is significantly slower than the rapid color change an octopus can achieve. Other cephalopods like cuttlefish and squid, cousins of the octopus, also exhibit this remarkable skill, changing color swiftly. This ability is more than just a cool trick. They use it to hide, talk to each other, and even catch their food. The magic behind this fast change is in their cells called chromatophores, which lets them change their look almost instantly, just like an octopus. Then there's the mantis shrimp. This colorful character of the sea can also change color, but it mainly does this to chat with other sea creatures, adding its own flair to the underwater conversations. In 1998, over in Indonesia, scientists found the fascinating mimic octopus. This little guy, only about two feet long, is not only good at changing color, it's incredible at pretending to be other sea animals, mimicking up to 15 different ones. It can look like a venomous lionfish, a flatfish, or even a sea snake. To mimic a lionfish, it spreads its arms like the fish's spiky fins. As a flatfish, it flattens itself against the seabed, and as a sea snake, it hides most of its arms, leaving two out to look like a snake. This skill is super important for survival, especially where it lives in sandy areas with not many places to hide. The mimic octopus even picks its disguises based on the predators it's dealing with. For example, it turns into a sea snake when damselfish are around, playing on their fear of snakes. This clever trick shows just how smart and adaptable it is, a real pro in staying alive in the ocean. Octopuses are not just great at hiding, they're also super flexible. They don't have bones, so they can squeeze through tiny spaces. For example, Arnold was an octopus famous for squeezing through a tiny 0.79-inch gap. This amazing ability comes from their unique body, which doesn't have any hard parts except for the beak. If their beak can fit through a space, the rest of their body can twist and turn to follow. Their tentacles, packed with thousands of neurons, also help a lot in this, feeling and tasting their way through even the tightest spots. In terms of intelligence, octopuses are essentially the geniuses of the sea. They excel in problem solving and are known to use tools. A notable example is their adept manipulation of jars. Scientists provide them with a jar with a snack inside, and the way they figure out how to unscrew the lid is not just clever, it shows their ability to think through problems, experiment with various approaches, and remember successful strategies for future instances. Their use of tools is also quite something. Some octopuses collect coconut shells and use them as mobile homes. This behavior illustrates that they aren't merely reacting to stimuli, but are also planning ahead and comprehending their environment to ensure their safety. Now, when it comes to having babies, octopuses have a really touching way of doing it. A female octopus will find a safe spot like a cozy den to lay hundreds or even thousands of eggs. Each egg is like a little pouch with a baby octopus growing inside. The mom's dedication is incredible. She stops eating entirely while she cares for them. She constantly cleans them by gently blowing water over them, keeping them free from dirt and germs. She's also their protector guarding them against any sea creatures that might see them as a snack, big responsibility that she takes on alone. As the embryos grow inside the egg, they start to take on the distinct shape of tiny octopuses. You can begin to see their eyes and tentacles forming. This period, known as incubation, varies in length among different octopus species. 
For some, it's just a few weeks, while for others, it can be several months. The deep sea octopus known as the Granulodon boreal pacifica holds the distinction of having the longest egg brooding period. These octopuses live in the chilly depths of the ocean. Their eggs take a long time to hatch due to the cold temperatures and the size of the octopus's own body. These mothers stay with their eggs, refraining from eating for a long period, surpassing the duration observed in other octopus species. When it's time to hatch, the baby octopuses do it all by themselves. They're immediately ready to swim, eat tiny bits of food, and even squirt ink. However, these baby octopuses must exercise extra caution, given their small size and the presence of numerous lurking predators. The agonizing aspect of this cycle is that typically after the eggs hatch, the mother octopus's life ends. She expends all her energy in nurturing and safeguarding her eggs, ensuring her offspring have the best possible start. It's a significant sacrifice she makes for her young ones. This goes to show the truly priceless process of how octopuses care for their eggs and how each species is unique in its way, especially the Granulodon boreal pacifica with its incredibly long period of egg tending.